mountains and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul, seal your doom tonight. Spooky, scary skeletons speak with such a screech. You'll shake and shudder in surprise when you hear these zombies shriek. Welcome to Spooktober Day 9. I'm super excited for today's video. As you guys know, I posted Day 8 earlier today and for Day 9, we are doing a video I wanted to film like two days ago. Didn't end up happening. But anyway, if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Cheyenne. I make spooky paranormal videos. I am posting every single day of October and I'm calling it Spooktober. Um, so yeah, if you guys like any of that stuff, go ahead and hit subscribe and become a member of the Space Babe family. So for today's video, I'm going to be reading a paranormal experience from one of my very loyal subscribers. It's subscribers like him that make me love what I do more, I guess. It, it makes me like realize why I'm doing it. It's people like him who come back every day and actually really enjoy my content. And it, it makes me like realize why I'm doing it. It's people like him who come back every day and actually really enjoy my content. And like people who would genuinely miss my videos if I stopped posting, those are the people that kind of keep me motivated. And he is one of those people. He comments on probably every single one of my videos. And he commented a few videos back that he was gonna be sending me a paranormal experience of his for Spooktober specifically. So I'm really excited to read his experience. Um, it's not too, too long. But I thought I would read it with you guys and react because I've just kind of skimmed it, not really read it, just kind of looked at the length and I think I read like maybe the first two sentences or so. But we're just going to read it and react to it together. Like people who would genuinely miss my videos if I stopped posting, those are the people that kind of keep me motivated and he is one of those people. He comments on probably every single one of my videos and he commented a few videos back that he was going to be sending me a paranormal experience of his for Spooktober specifically, so I'm really excited to read his experience. Um, it's not too, too long, but I thought I would read it with you guys and react because I've just kind of skimmed it, not really read it, just kind of looked at the length, and I think I read like maybe the first two sentences or so, but we're just gonna read it and react to it together. It says, Hello, my space queen. My name is Angel. I go by the username Lonely Boy Club. Huge fan of your YouTube channel. In one of your previous videos, I had mentioned that I had a creepy experience to tell, and here it is. It is pretty long to tell, but I'll do my best to make it as short as possible. Before I tell what happened, here's a little background to the story. It happened in Mexico back when I was 13 years old at my uncle's house, which they had told stories of creepy stuff happening there, but I had not yet experienced anything till this time. A shadow figure was always seen. People would feel being touched while sleeping, creepy noises, it got so bad that they had a priest come bless the home. It got a little quiet afterwards, but creepy stuff was still happening before they finally decided to move out. I was told that the priest and others felt that there was some sort of doorway to the other side. It's been many years now and I don't know what has happened to the home. As for my personal experience, here it is. It was during the nighttime at around 9 p.m. My, my family was having a get together. I was always a troublemaker, so that night, me and my cousins were outside misbehaving as usual. For some reason, I started throwing rocks at the neighbor's house. I ended up breaking a few of their windows. We ran back inside thinking we had gotten away with it, but we didn't. The neighbor came by and told my grandma what I had done. Needless, needless to say, she was very upset and gave me a very deserved beating. At that moment, I was way too angry at her and everyone else. I ran out to the backyard screaming and cussing them all off. I'm pretty sure I was wishing for their death. Typical bad behavior from a troublemaker child. Well, in the middle of the yard, there was this old tree trunk where we sat and played around. That's where I ran to. During the night, it would get very dark back there, so it was almost pitch black except for the lights coming from the window of the house. Now, straight in front of me was the driveway where they would park the cars. At this time, it was empty, so I had a clear view of it. To get cars in there, they had to open this metal gate that was heavy and loud when opening. When I got there, it was closed. I could see it being closed. I sat there getting more angry and just thinking awful stuff in my mind. All of a sudden, I look at the gate and it was open. I was sure it was closed, and if it did open, I heard no noise, so that was weird. There was some light reaching there, so I knew it, it was closed, and now it was open. But then it started getting darker, the little light that was reaching there was fading. 
I couldn't stop looking at the gate. At that point, I was shaking, but it could have easily been from the cold air, so I wasn't freaked out yet. That's when I heard this sound, like a dog growling, but it was more menacing. And then I straight out saw this dark black fur dog coming in through the gate door slowly. It was pretty big, but nothing I hadn't seen before. What I hadn't seen before was the red ruby blood eyes the dog had. They were super red and it looked just evil. By then I was frozen. I couldn't even move nor could I speak, so I couldn't scream even if I wanted to. In my mind, I'm just thinking, well, it's a big black dog with red eyes, nothing out of this world. But that's when things got really creepy. As the dog slowly walked towards me, all of the sudden, another dog exactly like came out of him. Like it had come out from within the dog. Not like it was behind him. It literally came out of the side of his body. Then another one came out from his other side and another one came out from the other two, and from those other two, another came out. At this point, I was seeing around eight dogs with ruby red blood eyes and drooling heavily and still coming towards me, and as they did it, it was as if it was getting pitch black all around me. I could hardly see any light from the house. By then, I was freaking out, but still frozen. I was just sitting there with tears just coming out of my eyes. It was then when all the dogs just rushed towards me, growling, and that's when I finally was able to move. I ran screaming inside the house, shaking out of fear, my body cold, and crying like a baby. Everybody was just looking at me. I told them what had happened, and my uncles and aunts and the rest of them went outside to check it out. When they came back, they said that there was nothing, and that the gate was closed, and not just closed, but it had a lock, so it was impossible to open. I knew what I had seen, and till this day, I'm sure I saw some sort of demons appear, perhaps because of this doorway, and I don't know, maybe they felt my anger, whatever the reason, it was something that got stuck in me for the rest of my life. Sorry it's a bit too long, love your channel and your work, my lady. Wow, that was a very intense story, you guys, but I'm so glad I read it to you guys because that is so spooky. I love that story. I mean, you guys know I like weird-ish. So that's crazy. It really does seem like there's some sort of a portal to the other side or something um, at your uncle's old house. It, it just, I mean, you can't explain that. You literally saw demons. I mean, some people believe there are portals to hell on earth. So um, I don't know. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of the Lonely Boys um, story. I really enjoyed it. Um, if you guys want me to read your paranormal stories in a video for Spooktober, don't hesitate to send them to me. One of my favorite things to read are other people's paranormal experiences. It just makes us feel less alone in this world, you know, us weirdos out there who have experienced out of this world things. But yeah, if you guys don't feel comfortable um, putting your paranormal experiences in the comments, you can definitely email me. I put my email in the description bar of all of my videos, so you guys are free to do that. Or if you just want to talk, that's cool too. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's Spooktober videos. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!